Okay, let's get a check of the weather. Joining us today is Rob Maeda. Rob, so nice to see you. We've got changes coming in the next day or two. Yeah, I think, you know, right around this time tomorrow, we'll be watching clouds on the increase and some much needed rain coming back into the forecast. We'll monitor some of those changes for tomorrow night. Good news, though, for your weekend plans. Most of it will start to move out before what could be an even colder pattern setting up that could be dropping snow levels and bringing more chances of rain in your seven day forecast. Let's take you outside with some hazy sunshine around the East Bay. Walnut Creek, you see it there. Uh, temperatures pretty warm again today. We had upper 60s earlier, now cooling down to 61 degrees west wind at about 10 miles per hour. There's the sunshine in San Francisco, 55 degrees, uh, a light sea breeze at 5 to 10 miles per hour and into San Jose, more hazy skies again as the rain comes back in. The wind picks up a bit more tomorrow. That should hopefully at least short term get some of the pollen out of the air and also get some of the dust and some smoke that we're still seeing in our skies. You get high pressure, you start to see that air quality drop off of the hazy sunshine. We'll get an improvement uh, fa thanks to the rain coming in later tomorrow. So for the morning, uh, tomorrow morning starts off kind of like we had today. Some coastal clouds, patchy fog in a few spots, 30s and 40s to start the morning. And overall temperatures tomorrow, very similar to what we had today, but you'll notice the increasing clouds as we head towards uh, sunset, which is now at 608 highs in the low 60s around San Francisco and San Rafael 67 San Jose 65 in Hayward upper 60s around Livermore and 61 in Santa Rosa so for the day tomorrow looks dry all the way through the evening commute then by 8 o'clock starting off in Sonoma County and Marin County you're starting to see that first rain band come through main event with this storm looks to be about 8 o'clock to midnight you can see how the Bay Area now kind of in the thick of it in terms of the rain though this system does move through pretty quickly look by Saturday morning approaching uh, 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. Most of the showers have shut down. So given the fast movement of this storm, most of it happening as you go to bed uh, Friday night and before you wake up in the morning, about a third of an inch of rain for the North Bay. Pretty fast moving storm. Areas south of San Francisco likely seeing less than a quarter inch of rain, but it will be cold enough. If you're going to head to Lake Tahoe or the Sierra this weekend, there will be some fresh snow in the air as you get into Saturday, Sunday, the snow moves out. So we get a brief break. We think into Sunday, then the next pattern, Sets up for Monday through Wednesday. You see the cold air approaching the coast. Could be looking at some lowering snow levels and another round of rain, perhaps a little better in terms of rainfall for some of our coastal mountains Monday through Wednesday. Some of the mountains could get maybe more than an inch of rain in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So the seven day forecast starting to look a bit more like early March. As you see, a few early showers, we'll say pre sunrise on Saturday. I think most of the weekends are going to be just fine, but uh, break out the winter coats by Tuesday highs in the low 50s and we could see snow maybe near Mount Diablo in Mount Hamilton. We'll take a closer look at that interesting part of the forecast coming up a little later on at six o'clock. Back to you. So keep all your clothes out. <laughs> yeah, Don't exactly. put anything away. <laughs> Thanks, there Rob, for the heads up.